Hi, I'm Rob Sharkey. I'm a fifth generation shark farmer from Illinois. That's right. For five generations, my family has been providing all of North America with their freshwater sharks. It started with my great grandfather and a dream. He dreamed he wanted to go to Illinois to raise sharks. And sure, they called him crazy. Uh, they called him nuts. But he had a dream and he would not be deterred. It was passed on through generations. My grandfather actually started like a, a petting zoo out of the shark farm. I, I mean, granted, wasn't wasn't the best idea. There were several lost relationships with neighbors. There were several lost appendages, but we moved on. My dad, he was a visionary. He wanted to start renting out the sharks, so he did. Did you ever watch Happy Days? Remember when Fonzie jumped that shark? That shark was from Sharky Farms. Now, he didn't get onto the big movies like Jaws and that, but the smaller roles, that was all us. Now, when I took over, I wanted to get back to the roots. I listened to my customers. My customers said, hey, we want corn-fed sharks. We want field-raised sharks. So that's exactly what I give them. So please, enjoy some Sharky Farm Sharks. We're here today on the streets of Nashville. We're trying to figure out how to bridge that gap between rural and urban. Today we're talking with? Kay Marie. And? McKenna. And where are you guys from? Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. What are you doing down here? Uh, we're on spring break for school. Spring break for school. All right. Are you doing anything fun? Yeah, we're just walking around the town and stuff like that. Okay. So, back in, uh, so do you actually live in Louisville? Yeah. Okay, so a, a major city, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I live in the country, more of a rural area. So, when I ask your opinions of like what rural America is and farmers, I mean, what comes to mind? <laughs> oh, and you can be honest. Yeah. Um, like, uh, you work all day and yeah. That's <laughs> so day. not true. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I mean, I just think, I don't even know. Y'all work a lot. <laughs> Well, there seems to be a pretty good divide, right, between the people that live in the city and the people who live in the country. I mean, do you guys see that? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think that is? I think people in the city are mean. Are they, mean? Yeah. And they just are not, no. Yeah, we got a few in the country that aren't so nice, yeah. too. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I think that people in the country are, they like more are able to get along with other people. Okay. Maybe because there's not so many people? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you think of farmers, do you think good for the environment or not so good for the environment? Good for the environment. It's good for the environment? Yeah. Why do you think that? Um, because that helps the economy. Mm -hmm. um, it makes them uh, be able to like reproduce um, cattle and horses and all that kind of stuff. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> Same thing, pretty much. Same thing. Ditto? Yeah. Ditto. <laughs> so there are a lot of people in the city that, that don't think farmers are good for the environment. I mean, where do you think that perception comes from? I just think they just, they don't like y'all, to be honest. I think they're I just think like... that's easy to do. Yeah. yeah. They're just like, ugh. They live with no one. They don't walk around and go get to do things. So. Yeah. Well, there's got to be a lot of benefits to living in a city, though, right? Yeah. You have, you can go pretty much um, anywhere and get whatever you need to make dinner or yeah. just about anything. If you, you can need order it. Grubhub. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would be so nice. Do you have high-speed internet? Yeah. <laughs> I would love high-speed internet. <laughs> <laughs> so, do either of you do any of the uh, the grocery shopping? Not really. No. Okay, but when you do go out, I mean, what are you looking for when uh, when you're trying to get something to eat? Is it just I want that, or are you looking for any particular labels or how it was raised? Um, I don't really look for labels. Okay. No. 
Me neither. <laughs> do you feel confident though, like if you go into a grocery store or you go to a restaurant that your food is safe? Yeah, most of the time, except for McDonald's. <laughs> Old Mc, maybe not McDonald's? Yeah. Okay, they're yeah. not a sponsor, yeah. who cares? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so as a farmer, I would like to I would like to ensure people that what we do is safe for the environment, that the stuff I'm producing is safe for them to eat. But I, I really don't know how to do it. Would you have any suggestions? Um, you show them like what you like make a video of like what you do. Mm -hmm. And yeah. <laughs> You're all about the YouTube's your generation, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Would you have any ideas? Be straightforward with them. Straightforward. Yeah. That's. I mean, that's not talking down to you guys. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't say. Because that's what I worry about. Like when I'm sitting there talking about what I'm doing, and what the language that I think you need to hear it in, I feel like I'm almost talking down to people. I don't think. I mean, personally, I wouldn't think that, but other people, there's just. Okay. I, we have this uh, rule on the show that nobody that I interview uh, can have better boots than me. So honestly, I think we're probably going to have to scrap this whole interview. Those, those are pretty good. Did you just get those? Yeah. Okay, here in... No, no I got them back at home. Okay, all right. And yours are, yours are rocking those too there. <laughs> You got the stars and stripes. Yep. Thanks for spending some time with us here on Shark Farmer TV. For more stories about people in agriculture, catch my shows on Rural Radio Channel 147 Sirius XM. There's more in-depth discussions on my podcast, and of course, you can check out previous episodes of this show on my YouTube channel. Find out more at sharkfarmer.com.